Take two. Corey, tell the folks at home what you're here for. Tell uh, them what you do. I'm here to bring you home because you're drunk. <laughs> Your wife called. Well, we can talk about that if you want, but uh, I've worked very hard for 42 years to not have a wife. <laughs> Except shout out to my fake wife, Chelsea Gallagher. We love you. Mwah. Uh, hey, Corey, so, yeah, 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 introduce yourself. My name is Corey David. I'm a touring comedian. I'm actually here doing... Why are we have our sunglasses on? Right, <laughs> I hey, thought it would look better. I know. Well, anyway. uh, I we, don't want uh, people to see the whites of my eyes. I am a touring comedian. I'm doing shows here in Vietnam this month. I'm doing a show next weekend in uh, Saigon and then one the following weekend in Hanoi. Um, Shout out to our guy, Neil Mackay. Yeah. Brought Love you. Neil. Yeah, 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 man. So uh, come out to the shows if you uh, live in Saigon or Hanoi. But uh, I worked in the beer industry for eight years. I, uh, for Sierra Nevada and Harpoon back in the States, I used to have my own beer podcast called Rotating Tap, which is available on all podcast platforms, and I am a level two Chicharone, or as some people call Cicerone, which only matters it to uh, no one, really. Is Nobody the correct, really is correct pronunciation Chicharone? No, I just think it's, okay. because I think it's such a dumb, I think it's a dumb organization, so I just... <laughs> So I just make fun of it all the eight, time. Eight years ago, my boss told me I had to get my Cicerone certification, and I was like, yeah, I'll do that at some point. I haven't. I mean, I'm glad, that I, I'm glad I did, just because it was cool. It was a cool experience. I learned a lot, you know, yeah. but the brewery I was working for paid it for me. So if it wasn't for that, I would say, fuck it. Gotcha. Sorry, are we allowed to swear? Oh, yeah. Language is encouraged. Belching Beaver. Belching Beaver. Hazer's gonna haze. I love those guys. So I we did, a, we did one review of Belching Beaver last week, and then I found out that a, a local uh, craft beer bar had some Belching Beaver imported. Yes, sir. So, here we go. Yeah, they do, uh, they do a lot of collabs with the Deftones. That's the one we reviewed. Yeah, the Deftones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, Bride something? Something Bride. Yeah. Still one of the best concerts I've ever been to. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hazy IPA. Haze is gonna haze. That's way too much. I'm not gonna read all that. Uh, what do we got? 6.6% alcohol by volume. Okay. Corey, are you, uh... Are you a haze bro? No. Okay. I prefer West Coast. I can objectively talk about hazy IPAs, but I just feel like a lot of times they wind up tasting the same once they I, reach a certain quality. I threshold. like them both. Yeah. Depends on my mood, and it depends on how good the beer is. Yeah, I agree. So like it, it we were just in, uh, we were in Bangkok recently for a, a brewers conference, and all the local shit, it was all fucking hazy, New England, jacked up. Right. So and and some of them were really good and balanced, mm -hmm. and some of them were like. Get your fucking hot burn out of my face, bro. Like, no, I know. That's so the thing. It's like, it's sometimes it leaves that kind of, um, like, powdery texture on the back of your yes. throat, on the back yeah. of your throat, your tongue, and then has that burny. And then right. also, yeah, I don't know. I just don't feel like the flavors are there, like, in balance. It's like any other beer style. Like, yeah. you can, there's a right way to do it, and there's a, another way to do it. Yeah. I always, when it's right, it's like, zang. But I also, that's awesome. I also, for me, I, uh, I prefer more, like, piney and citrusy yeah. flavors, not, like, passion fruit, yeah, yeah. tropical fruit flavors out of my hops. Careful. Well, I'm we drinking make, this other IPA that's there. very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry, I got ahead of myself. Corey, is there anyone you want to say hello to? Any shout outs you want to give before we get started? Uh, my girlfriend, Sarah. Where is she? Wonderful. She's back home in the US. She's back in She's Come in New York. On, sir. I know. I really like she was here, but that's about it. Corey, we do one sip. We give a score of 0 through 10. We try them all until we try them all. Once the beverage knows the rules, this one smells much fresher than the other one that we just I dig it. <laughs> aborted. Yeah, that other one was trash. We won't mention the brewery. I dig it. Not as hazy. Oh, huh. Not as hazy as I would expect it to be, just like color, uh, color and like transparency wise. Based on the name, Hazer's gonna haze. Yeah, but that's okay by me. I mean, yeah. like we were just saying, I prefer more of a West Coast. My first immediate reaction is this does have a little bit more pininess and resinous flavor to it. As 100%. Opposed to, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not what I was expecting. It's a little more like actual I was expecting bitterness. a lot more juice. Yeah. It's, yeah, the bitterness is up front. And it seems like it's kind of that happy medium between being like full-blown hazy IPA, that's like super soft, plush mouthfeel, and not as dry as a West Coast IPA. Even. It's also got a... And I, I, I mentioned this on the other Belgian beer, the Deftones one. Like, there's a nuttiness to it. Mm hmm And I... Do you know... You're a sales guy, too. Yeah, we're both sales guys. We're not brewers. Correct. I mean, what are you getting what a nutty characteristic out of? I'm not getting a nutty. Oh, no? Okay. Unless it's cashew. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe um, it's like a nice cashew, a soft nut. Yeah. Which <laughs> is all you do? Shout out to soft nuts. <laughs> okay. 
I dig it. So that, yeah, no, I like it too. And that the other Belgian beaver we did, that was the first one I ever had. And I've heard a lot of things about Belgian beaver. So I had high expectations. And like, both beers though, they're just kind of not quite the note I was expecting. Well, I mean, which isn't bad, yes. but it's like, it's, they're both very good, but also very not. What I had in my head when like I, when not, I tried, like them. not memorable or not. No, 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 no. Just like whatever expectations I had about Belgian Beaver going in. Okay. And then whatever, like looking at the, I thought this would be super juicy. It's not. No. So both beers have kind of like, I don't want to say underwhelmed because they're not underwhelming, but they've subverted my expectations. Yeah, I mean, I think if you're if you're a consumer and you're going for that classic hazy IPA flavor and beer. Probably not the one for you, but it's a great, I think, variation on a hazy IPA, a little bit more traditional West Coast. And if you are somebody that loves pale ales and IPAs and you typically don't gravitate towards a hazy, this is going to be like right. a, a sure thing for sure. That's awesome. We just didn't. Belching Beaver invented a beer, so West Coast hazy IPA. Yeah. All right. Corey, the guest always scores first. What do you got? Zero through ten. Uh, I'm going to go eight. 8.0 rookie score. Fair. You don't watch. <laughs> you haven't seen the video. No, why? What's it? Does it what, what's it? What's eight? Like we, some we, pipe beer that I actually don't like. No, but no, we, 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 to? we we go one decimal point. So a round number is a rookie score. Oh well, yeah. Thanks, jerk, for telling me. I could have prepped you. I didn't. I'm sorry. He prepped. He, there was no prep. There's no prep. There's John Mayer. There's some country music playing on in the background. I have no idea what's going on with the music. Shout, use, shout out to our guy Sue. What name Sue over he there? He had to use my tripod. Okay, so he he wasn't prepared. <laughs> Prep me, prep for the day. He didn't prep for anything. All right, so I think eight, seven point nine. Is that better? No, you can't change your score. It's locked in. Right, it's like a, it's like figure skating. Wow, it's going to be, it's going to be an idiot forever. Great. In uh, in uh, sorry, in America? No, 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 no. <laughs> In consolation, nobody yes. nobody watches these videos. That's okay. So this might be the one that pops. I'm sure. gonna, <laughs> love it. I'm gonna make point three. We're, we're the same name. Yeah, right. It's, yeah, same yeah, name. Yeah. Like when, if I'm it's a good to... beer. It's not like it's not like crazy good. It's and like I said, sub, subverting expectations. I think is what I want to talk about yeah. when I talk about Belgian beaver. So far, I'm gonna go more to try. Well, I think like I'm always kind of I, the first thing I do is like, is there anything wrong with it? I know that's not always, oh. like, the best place to start, but when I'm drinking a beer and I'm raving it, no, no, like, yeah. is there anything wrong? with it? Right. If there's not anything wrong with it, great. We'll start at a five or a six. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's kind of that, my scale. Like, five, anything below five is like, throw up as a, as a drink. Bar. Correct. Yeah. Maybe I like uh -huh. the label. And that's why it gets a four <laughs> instead of a two. Or something like that. But... I Maybe I, I found this beer in Singapore and then it didn't... It just wasn't as good as... Wow. You actually stopped making the other video because you didn't want to trash Nobody's me. gonna... But nobody's gonna... And then fine. you put the 8.0 register from Curry David. Curry, anyone else want to say hello to before we get going? Why do you want me to say hi to some people? Maybe I, I want to run away. This is actually going to give me a way more, to government. The more people I tag in the videos, the more like I'll tag more people. people share it around. There you I'll go. tag people. I'll right. share it. All right. Make me a collaborator on IG. I'll share the shit out of this. <laughs> Shout out in the comments. 8.0. All right. 8.3 from me. That's a review.